Well, yeah, it, it was it was nice. I, I appreciated it. I, I didn't think, you know, the card was a nice gesture for Mother's Day. That was that was really that was really nice. But I had expected to find something inside it. Well, you know, something that I could have gone out and maybe bought myself a present with or something. You know. Yeah, that's right. I could have. Sure, I could have. Could have gone away on a trip. I didn't like. I did. Could have bought a watch. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't like the bouquet of sand spurs. I, you know, it, it was a nice, it was a nice gesture. You know, I thought. But those aren't flowers. No, you know, they're they're at best weeds. And and they want me to put them in a vase and put them on the table so that we could. We could look at, but then wanting me to smell them. I mean, I, you know, Toby, that was that was a little much. Yes, I know. I was taking sand spurs out of my nose for three days. Huh? How about uh, how about when Father's Day comes around, you just wish me Happy Father's Day and forget it. All right? We won't worry about presents and stuff like that. Hey, did I scare you? Hey, we have a special guest coming down today to. No, 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 it's not a fat person. No, it's not a short person. It's not a tall person. It's a normal sized person who does unusual things. You'll find out in just a minute. Right now, we're gonna find out who's down here to read the comics with us today. The door is open. Toby, the door is, you're gonna let all the air conditioning out. Oh, ah, mm. Mm. Whoo, boy, that's smart. Ow. We'll find out what this young lady's name is here on the end. What's your name? Claudine. Claudine what? Kircher. And how old are you? S seven. S seven? And what school do you go to? Biscayne Elementary. And what grade are you in? First. Okay. And what's your name? Tanya. Tanya what? Jimenez. And how old are you, Tanya? Eight. What school do you go to? St. Joseph. And what grade are you in? Third. You're gonna giggle, aren't you? Aren't you? She's gonna giggle. Watch, she is a giggler, I can tell. Look at her, look, she's going right now. There she goes, she's starting to giggle, and we haven't even done anything yet. She's already giggling. He is too. Michael's a giggler, I can tell. What's your name, Greg? Greg. Greg what? Ornstein. How old are you, Greg? Six. What school do you go to? Blake. And what grade are you in? First. Okay. What's your name? Elise. Elise what? Sackle. How old are you, Elise? Eight. What school do you go to? Biscayne Elementary. What grade are you in? Third. Okay. Hey, what's your name? Michael. Michael what? Kingsley. How old are you, Michael? Six. What school do you go to? Blake. What grade are you in? First. Okay. And I see you leaning back so I don't hit you in the nose. What's your name? <laughs> Michelle. Michelle what? Greenberg. How old are you, Michelle? Eight. What school do you go to? Biscayne Elementary. And what grade are you in? Third. Something's gotten to Michael. He's starting to go. You ready, Toby? <laughs> Checking out all the sound effects. Here's your comics, Michael. We're going to start with Andy Cap who's right there in the middle of the first page. That's right, just turn over the whole thing like that. There's Andy putting his jacket on in the first picture, and I guess he's going to go out, because he says to Flo, just all for a couple of points, bet. And out the door he goes, saying, if I'm a bit light, don't wait up, I Gives her a kiss on the cheek. Kiss on the cheek. Well, keep pumping it. Keep pumping it, Toby. There it goes. And Flo says, if you lock me company, Pat. And he says, no thanks, Pat. She says, it will only take me a couple of ticks to change and sling a bit of makeup on. And he says, no thanks, Pat. And she slams the door in anger. He turns around, wondering what had happened. She walks back in the house saying, I wouldn't so much mind him living without working if I didn't have to work without living. Poor Flo never gets to go with Andy, he's always off going somewhere by himself. Usually to play snooker or have a couple of pints or something like that. Beetle Bailey is on the inside of the first page, and that's next. I'll tell you what, you take this one here. You let me have this one. You're going to read Beetle's part. No. No, you're going to read uh, Sergeant Snorkel's part. Yes, okay. You got it? They're in the... You have to open the whole thing up like that. Uh-oh, we're having trouble here, folks. Don't go away.
in the first picture. There's Beetle. And he's got his broom. Get a little sweeping sound effect there, Toby, while we're getting this together. Toby is sweeping away. A little sweep a rooney sound effect there. He's sweeping, doing some menial duties. Sergeant Snorkel is standing close by. And Beetle says, I should be doing something more important. And Sergeant Snorkel asks, Why? And Beetle says, After all, I had a year of college. What? And Sar wait, wait. Sergeant Snorkel says, now. What difference does that make? And Beetle, or Sergeant Snorkel points over to Lieutenant Fuzz and says, Look at Lieutenant Fuzz. He graduated from college. And then continues to tell him, What's he doing? Stamping papers official. Official, for gosh sake. Next to organize his drawer. Separating the big paper clips from the little paper clips. At night, he sits up late, typing huge reports on stuff like... Lapel. Lapel lint, how to attack and eliminate it, which the general throws in the garbage. Now get back to work. I really told him off, right, sir? And Lieutenant Fuzz says, told who off? Poor Lieutenant Fuzz. All of those terrible things he said about the guy not doing very much, he was saying about Lieutenant Fuzz. I think he's the one that got told off indirectly. Can you imagine a... Uh, a, where was it? A, 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 oh, here is a, a, a report on lapel lint. Yeah. I can't either. How to attack and eliminate it.